All right, we're going to write a GCD as a linear combination of two integers. Now, here's the thing. Um, so that it doesn't look like these numbers are made up, I'm going to show you from a previous video. Um, you can look at the previous video about including the algorithm GCD. This is where all these numbers come from, except for going backwards. So what we did is we start by dividing the big number by the small number, and you repeat that process until you get a remainder of zero. Well, look at these last two that we had. So we divided um, 9 by 3. Uh, three yeah, not, we divided 9 by 3. And so that gave us a remainder of zero. But we to get the, the, the second to last line is really where we start on this one. So if you notice, 12 is equal to 9 times 1 plus 3. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in my work, even though I'm not going to like show it on proof. 12 is equal to 9 times 1 plus 3. Well, another way of saying that, since 3 is the GCD, what I'd like to do is write this equation with 3 by itself. So I'd like it. I'd like there to not be the nine hanging out with this. So mentally, or I'm going to do it written out. I'm going to subtract nine times one on both sides. And so what I get is three is equal to twelve minus nine. Whatever you're doing linear combinations, though, you always want to do twelve times something. You know, nine times something. Even though the one is understood. So the idea is twelve times one minus nine times one is equal to three. And again. We got that by first doing finding the GCD, but now we're working our way up and going backwards, but we want to isolate the GCD, you know, the greatest common divisor. And so to write it a little cleaner, I'd rather 3 be on the left side. The GCD, 3, is 12 times 1 minus 9 times 1. Now, this is a linear combination of 12 and 9, which is not at all what we want yet, but it's the first step in showing this. So I'm just going to rewrite this over. And then all I'm going to do, instead of actually doing work, I'm just going to look at my previous work. So the previous line is, okay, well, 9, um, you know, is 21 minus 12, okay? So, but I don't want to do it in terms of 9. I want to do, well, how does 9 compare to 3? Well, uh, 9 is, uh, three, 3 is 12 minus 9. So, I'm, again, I'm just using my previous work, sorting through these numbers. So what I can do here is I can rewrite the number 9 into a convenient number. So see how this, this, the previous equation, my work right here has 9 by itself. Well, I'd rather get it, I'd rather get that 9 in terms of like the 21 and the 12 because it'd be working up. So I'm going to isolate the 9 here. So 21, subtract 12 on both sides, minus 12 is equal to 9. So I'm going to replace this 9 right here with the 21 minus 12. So since 9 is 21 minus 12, I'm going to replace the 9 with a 21 minus 12. Okay, and to replace the um, 12, I'm going to look at the step right before that. All right, see how 12, uh, so we used uh, this, this step and then used this step. So now 12, is, yeah, I can isolate 12 by subtracting the 21 times 4 on both sides. So let me just copy this step right here. 986 equals 21 times 4 plus. Okay, and again, I, st I, st I stole this from the previous video, the previous uh, work I did. And so, but I want to isolate the, uh, you might not be able to. I want to isolate the 12 again because I want to make a useful substitution to turn it into a bigger number. So now I'm just going to move this over right here. So in my head or, or mentally, or I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to subtract 2 times, um, 2 times 4. Is that 2 times 4? Uh, sorry, that's a, a 21 times 4. So I'm going to subtract that on both sides. And so I'm going to rewrite it that way. 96 minus 21 times 4 is equal to 12. Since 12 is that, I'm going to replace the 12 with that. So still bring the 3 down. 3 equals, this is going to be 96 minus 21 times 4. And then everything else I'm going to copy down uh, normally. And copy that. And actually, I realized I should have maybe um, I could have done this a step earlier. But see this negative. See, there's a twelve, a twelve here, and like there's that. Um, there's also that twelve here. So uh, let me just backtrack. So I'm I'm gonna distribute this negative here, and I like to distribute negatives this way. Change that, change that, change that, and let me do it in a different color so you can see it happening. So I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose to see it as I'm doing this way. So since this is 12 times 1, you know, it's just it's just 12. So it's 3 equals 
12 times 1, and then it's plus a negative 21, but then it's plus another 12. And since that's plus a 12 and this is plus a 12, this is actually 3 equals. There's two 12s. And I, I, want to, I don't want to combine it to 24. Um, I just want to keep it as 12s because I want to be able to cheat and use my work from the previous thing. So 12 times 3. Sorry, I mean 12 times 2 minus 21. And, you know, if you want 21 times 1 again. Anytime you do an linear combination, if it's just a number, you just put that number times 1. And so right here, when I make this substitution, the 12 is still 96 minus 21 times 4. But there's a, since there's two 12s, it's like there's two 96 minus 21 times 4s. And let me put let me put brackets or parentheses around that so that that's so that's appropriate. All right, and then minus, and then it's still um, it's still a 21 times a 1. And so we're going to look, and again, look for our work from our GCD and see how, what number we can write as something else. So in the, in the previous work right here, actually before that, I noticed that we can clean something up. See how there's a bunch. So just like I cleaned the 12s up, I saw multiple 12s and you can make a 12 times 2. And again, it was minus a negative. So they didn't cancel out because there was a minus and then it was a negative 12. Here I noticed that there's four 12s, but actually that's eight 12s. And then there's another 112, and they're all negative. So it's there's two 96s. If you distribute this two right here, you're going to see that there are two 96s. So it's 96 times 2, because this is like distributive property. And then this 2 distributes to this whole term. So you can either multiply the 2 times the 21, but multiply it times the, the how many combinations you have. So this is minus 21, 21 times 8. And then it's minus another 21 times 1 here. So then we combine those to get 3 equals. It's still 2 96s minus. And then there's if there's 8 21s and 1 21, and technically they're negative 21s, then that means there's, there's 9 negative 21s. So now that I have just one of each um, term, now I'm going to look into my previous work. So I'm going to scroll down here, and so I'm going to look for another number that I can turn into a bigger number. If you want, you can keep track of like which lines you use. So it's a good idea that like, okay, I use this one in the first step. I use this one in the second step. Then I use the 96 thing. And now, oh wait, so I use the 96 thing. Now we're going to turn the 96 into a bigger number right here. So now we're using this step. So, um, or, or you can you can see it. At, sorry, I, like I should be, uh, the most recent one I turned into a bigger number was the 12, right? So that was the previous remainder. Now the new remainder is the 21. Again, remember you just swing this over to the other side, the 21. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy this thing right here, and I'm gonna manipulate it in such a way that okay, I can turn the 21 into a bigger number because those bigger numbers are the original numbers by getting the 21 by itself on both sides. Nine six times one, swinging that over. So 117 minus 96 times one is equal to 21. So I'm gonna substitute that into here in place of 21. So, and I'm just gonna substitute that here. So this 21 is this thing right here because this 21 is that thing right here. So I just grabbed it. Again, I grabbed it from your work when you did the GCD. So I've already used that. So I'm gonna cross that out that I already used that. Now I'll know that the next thing I'll use is this in my previous work. But here's the thing. Oh, I see a couple of 96s. I see a 96 here and a 96 here. Careful. That's not three 96s. It's, oh, wait, there's nine times one, um, which means, which makes this nine 96s. So I'm going to, I'm going to distribute this nine. Also, that makes this nine 117s. So I just distribute that quickly. And, oh, there's two 96s. And um, you got to be careful. On, I'm going to be careful here. See how this is, again, distribute negative. See how that's a minus? That's a minus. So. Distribute the negative like so. So this is actually a plus 96. So I gotta be careful there. And here's the if you if you get opposite signs, you should just know there was something wrong. Now I I was if I would have done it wrong, I would have gotten negative seven ninety sixes. But look at your work. Just know that um, like we never we never got that at any point. So that's not right. So what I end up getting is nine ninety sixes, two ninety sixes. So a total of and it doesn't matter what order you write this in. But I'm going to choose to write it as the 96 is first. 96, there's 11 of those because there's 2 and 9. Minus 117 
and there was nine of those again because of the distribute. Now the last step, since we already used everything else, uh, all right, let's see if we can. So we oh we got set not one seventeen. That's awesome. Well look at this. Now we can use this step. Oh ninety six. We could turn that into a two thirteen this way. So again, just swing over this on both sides. So I'm gonna copy this thing right here, the last bit of work. And since I've since I've used it, I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and cross it out. So that means I should be done at this step. And so I'm gonna paste this here. And then I'm going to rewrite this by subtracting 117 times 1 on both sides. Then you get 96 is equal to 213 minus 117 times 1. And then make a substitution here. So 96 is, so this 96, this 96, I'm going to replace with this thing right here. So I'm going to replace that as. Replace that as 213 minus 117 times 1. So that's the this part here. And then the 11 is still there. That 11 is just this 11 right here. Okay. And the this gray part is just all I did was substitute. And then this part is still here. Minus 117 times 9. Now here's what the whole goal was. Remember the whole goal was to write this as a linear combination of only 117 and 213s. And that's the good news. I have only 117 and 213s. That's when you know when you can stop. But I want to have, I want to combine all the 117s and I want to combine all the 213s. So I'm going to just distribute this 11 here. So first I'll distribute that 11 really quick. So that there are 11 of each. So 11 213s, 11 two, uh, 117s. And then just copy this minus 117 times 9 down. Now I only have one 213. That's good. So 3 equals 213 times 11. So I'm done with the 213s. But there's 11 negative 117s and there's 9 negative 117s. So that means altogether there's 20 negative 117s. So, and since I only have the greatest common divisor, since I have the greatest common divisor written as, um, you know, the, the first number times some, you know, amount of combinations minus the second number times however many, you know, terms it takes, many, how many combinations of that. That means that this is my final answer. So this is writing the linear combination. Again, all we did was really, if you try to work it forwards, it looks like you're getting these numbers out of nowhere. But we, by finding the GCD, we just take those steps, put them backwards, except we isolate the what was the remainder part, and we subtract that those divisor parts. And all we do is we just use that to make useful substitutions. And that's how you work that. And so that's our completed work right there.